chill. So we're gonna see if we can get this guy pulled out. And now, conveniently, I'm stuck. channel everyone it's been a while I've been kind of busy uh, we finally got some snow as you can see they were forecasting 8 to 10 inches and wind so it's drifting pretty bad I can't really tell how much we actually got but uh, it's blowing across the road pretty good got some pretty bad drifts we had to go out last night for a little bit and get things cleaned up and it pretty much drifted right back in behind us so we went home got some sleep and we're back at it this morning. We're gonna get these plows running. Well, here we are. Here's my rig. I got the green truck with the wing on it. This wing is really nice for when the snow's drifting. You can really push it back off the roads, get it into the ditch, and just give that snow a little bit more room to work. Yeah, I'm gonna get this thing fired up and get going. Looks like dad's already out. He usually beats me out. So we're out here on the road. I'm gonna get this wing set down where it needs to be. Kinda of need to just stop and get it set. So what I like to do, I'll bring it back up so you can see. You can see the wing through that window. I'll drop it down until it's just below the window. So right when you can't see it. So now you stop, and then you drop it down in the front. There's a little indicator right there, and we got our white fancy bread tie that you line it up with. And now she's on the ground, so we're gonna get moving some snow. problem that I need to address. So these windshield wipers on these international trucks, they kind of suck. I don't really know what the deal is, but snow gets built up in here just from the plow and then the wiper can't set down all the way. Well then what happens is it starts pushing down and it busts the splines on the arm and it breaks the arm off. So once you get it built up, you need to come out here every once in a while dig it out, that way the wiper can set down where it needs to. It's really annoying, but it's better than breaking a windshield wiper. A little mouse running along the field right there, see it? Right in 
here, we've got uh, trees on both sides of the road, so the wind's not whipping through here. This is where you can really kind of get a feel for how much snow we've got. Um, up there where it's open, it just kind of blows the snow off the road except for where it drifts. So I'd say we got at least six inches, if not eight. I made a pass down this road last night before anybody had been through, and with no tracks on the road, you could hardly see where the road was even at. That's one of the challenging things about being a snowplow operator is sometimes you can't even tell where the road is. You're just kind of winging it and hope you get it right and hope you don't go off the road and end up in the ditch, which has happened before. You just gotta take your time, you know, don't get in a hurry. That's kind of when mistakes are made when you get in a hurry, as with anything, so. We're just taking our time, getting things opened up here. It's Sunday, so we're really not in a big hurry. I don't think anybody's gonna really be going anywhere anyway. One thing you really have to watch for is I cannot see that wing at all out there. So it's sticking out five, six feet, and some of these road signs, like this one, are pretty close to the road, and also mailboxes. You really gotta watch out for road signs and mailboxes. You may or may not have uh, whacked a couple mailboxes off with this wing before, but I cannot confirm that. So it happens, it's not a big deal, but it snow's kinda deep right here. Some really heavy wet snow this time. It's 31 degrees, so it didn't really get that cold to where the snow would be real light and fluffy. So uh, it's pushing pretty hard. I've been running in third gear. Normally I run this truck in fourth or fifth, uh, but I got into some big drifts and she just kind of fell on her face. So I had to shift down a little bit. This truck is old enough to have the 466 in it, so it's a good pre-emissions, got plenty of power. I think it's tuned up to whatever tune they put in tandems. So it's got plenty of power, but in this heavy snow, sometimes it'll just shift a little too early and you can't stay underneath it. So you gotta kinda watch that. The other truck we've got, it's a little bit underpowered, and I think the shift points are a little different on it. I've kinda talked about that in a different video, but uh, it kind of shifts real early, so you're always on the high side of the gear, and it just kind of struggles to maintain speed, and you really gotta watch what gear you're in, otherwise you'll kill it, really. Just got out here uh, in the trees where there was no wind. I'm gonna see how much snow we actually got. So this snow kind of came straight down, and it is about up to my ankle, so. That's a good, I don't know, eight, 10 inches. That's about what they were calling for. So while we're out here, you can really see how much this wing actually helps. It gets it out another, whatever, five, six feet off the road. And that way, obviously there's no wind gonna come through here, but if there was wind, it would start drifting back here in the ditch instead of right at the edge of the road off of this plow. So it just gives a little bit more room for a drift before it starts getting on the road. Uh, a lot of times we'll go through and we'll do kind of an initial pass and then we'll let the wind blow for a while and go back out and see if we can wing it back even farther. That way you can see where the road's at, you can see the edge of the road and you don't get off. This first pass is kind of hard to see. If you want to stay on the road, you kind of want to run your tire, not this tire obviously, but you want to run your tire on the edge of the road. That way that wing gets the snow off as far as you can and uh, does a good job that way. So. We're gonna get back to work. Man, that's satisfying just watching that stream of snow fly off the road. I really wish I could get my drone up to follow the snow plow. That would be really cool, but the drones don't work really well in cold weather. So I need to figure out a way to do that because I think that'd be a really cool shot watching that big old stream of snow going. Well, since I was close, I came and fought our driveway and picked up Leah. She likes to go snow plow with me. Don't you? Don't you, Leah? Come on, let's go. She really just likes to go anywhere. It doesn't have to be a snow plow. Come on. Come on, get up there. Hey, go under here. Go. No, come here. since I was close, I better plow our driveway out because my wife is eight months pregnant. So if 
you missed that video, me and my wife are going to have a baby. She's due March 1st, so I figured I better get the driveway opened up just in case she goes into labor or something crazy like that. So, good to go now. Well, we got a couple cars stuck. Leah, stop barking. He's fine. Will you chill? So we're going to see if we can get this guy pulled out. All right, we got one out. I think the other guy left that car there. Yeah, so I'm guessing this car must have got stuck either earlier this morning or later, and they're not around. So I'm just gonna try and clean up around it. That way, when whoever comes to pull this thing out, they got some room to work, so. It's been here a while, it's all drifted around. Try not to hit the car. I might have to get a better run at this. This could be dicey. I'm gonna put the phone down. And now, conveniently, I'm stuck. This car must have been here for a while and it's all drifted around and it was a lot deeper than it looked right there. So thankfully dad is just right over there. He's gonna come up here and hopefully pull me out. I'm not stuck too bad. I didn't rock it too much. So I didn't, you know, bury myself any worse than I already am. So it shouldn't take too long to get out. Ah, door's locked. We might have to come down here with the payloader and uh, clean this out. This heavy, wet snow, man, it's slick underneath once you get it smoothed off, and it's just hard to move. I'm gonna get my chain out and get things ready. Here comes my rescue. All right, Let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Try not to hit that car. going to struggle. Well, that didn't work. We're going to go get some bigger equipment. All right, I'm in the payloader. This ought to be able to get it out. Dad was going to run Leah home in the pickup because she can't get up here. This is a little bit too big of a jump for her, so he's going to take her home and meet me back out at the truck. I got a couple roads I'm gonna plow uh, while I'm waiting on him. And hopefully we can get that truck out and get back going. We got another guy coming out to help us. Uh, I think he might run this a little bit. Um, we'll see what we end up with, but I have no gauges. This whole panel quit working. So I think the mice got into this thing and they probably chewed up the wires because it'll flash once in a while, but overall I have nothing, so. Whatever. Well, here we are on the other side of the truck. Um, it's pretty deep here. I'm gonna try and get this side cleaned up and we're gonna try and pull the truck out this way. That way there's less of a chance of me hitting that car with the plow. Um, you know, I would hate to hit it and ding it up if I don't have to. So I'm gonna try and get this cleaned up, see if I can't make a bigger mess than I already got. This stuff is just so heavy, I can't do anything with it. And this is an area that normally drifts pretty bad because the edge, the field is higher on both sides of the road. So it normally fills in. Plus you got that car stuck there. So it's drifted probably worse than it normally would be. I don't know, we might have to pull the truck backwards. Let's see what we can do here. are struggling. I'm just cutting through the field to go around. We're gonna, try, we're gonna try and pull it out backwards. We can't get it to go forwards. It's just too slick on this side. There's a little bit of dry pavement on that side. I think I can get a little better traction that way.
dad took the green truck. Uh, he's going to go and wing a couple roads that he couldn't get with the red truck because it doesn't have a wing on it. And I'm going to go and open up the couple roads that I had left. And then we'll probably just go home and take a nap or something. Probably have to come back out later because it's still snowing, still blowing, still drifting. We're going to have to come back out here later. I really actually enjoy plowing with the payloader because it's so versatile. You can spin it around on a dime. Uh, you pretty much can't get stuck with it, although I shouldn't say that. I have got it stuck before. It was kind of embarrassing. Basically, it's four-wheel drive. It's got diff lock. It's really hard to get it stuck. And if you do kind of get it in a sticky situation, you can always just drive and turn around in the field and get back out on the road. So I do like plowing with this thing. One thing that I'm not real crazy about running this payloader is if it's slick out, it does get a little squirrely. Uh, if you hit a big drift with that plow, it'll kind of throw you to the left or whatever way you've got the plow facing. And then it's like you kind of lose traction and you can't really catch yourself. It just kind of weaves side to side and you got to be kind of gentle with your steering wheel movements and not try and throw yourself in the ditch. So that's the only thing about this thing you got to be careful of. to come hit this road with the payloader instead of the truck because up on top of that hill there it can get pretty deep we've had it to where the only way we could bust through it was with the payloader with the bucket on it and just take a scoop back out and dump it off to the side so this could get pretty hairy up here uh the way the wind was coming i don't think it'll be too bad but didn't want to take a chance anyway it's definitely deep right here it's pushing me off to the side I might have to hit this a couple times. Might want to shift down to third. This thing's got four gears in it, and if you're pushing heavy wet snow, fourth gear is a little much for it at times. So you gotta leave it in third and just keep your foot on the floor and let her eat. So let's see if we can get up this hill. I don't know if you can hear the engine, but she's struggling a little bit. Yeah, this, this would have been a little bit of a challenge with the truck. The payloader just got so much more traction. I'm going to turn my blade so I don't bury this guy's driveway. I try to do that whenever I can. Especially when I know the guy. Yeah, this definitely would have been a challenge for the truck. It's pretty deep right here. Usually it isn't as bad here. It's on the other side of the hill, but I guess the way the wind was coming, it just kind of filled in this intersection right here. So I'm gonna have to hit this a couple times and see if we can get this thing opened up. Kind of got to make room for more snow. It's still snowing and blowing, so got to get this opened up. I had to pull him out. I 
guess the uh, county sheriff's department picked him up and brought him to the hotel last night. He got stuck in the middle of the night. And they brought him back out here. They were trying to dig the car out with shovels and they weren't getting very far. So I pulled him out with the chain, made things a lot easier on him. And he's headed on his way now. Well, here we are back at the shop. I'm getting hungry. It is time for lunch. I cannot wait. And we're done plowing, for now anyways. It's still snowing. We're gonna have to go back out later. There's a couple roads that we didn't really get hit with the wing and I'm sure it's drifted over already a little bit. Hopefully the snow will quit here after a while and we can go out and hit it one more time and be done. But it's kind of looking like it's gonna snow the whole rest of the day and through the night. So we might be busy the next couple days. This is one of the first roads that I plowed this morning and it's already drifted over quite a bit, but it's passable. We'll leave it go for now and we'll hit it again later and get it open back up. But yeah, that's what we do, plowing snow for the township. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I think I pretty much covered everything. If we keep getting some more snow, I might do another video of plowing. County Eventful had to pull a couple people out. I had to get pulled out and switch equipment, get the payloader out. We usually don't use the payloader that much just because we can hit everything with the trucks. Uh, we normally don't get this big of snows really at all. We're far enough away from Lake Michigan that we don't get very much lake effect snow. Most of the snow we get is one, two, three, four inches, not eight or 10 like we got now. So. Really heavy wet snow, hard to deal with, but we got her done. So thanks for watching. And if you liked the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we will see you on the next one.